thought it was a little bit. It was just on the bottom. Then a guy comes by and I ask, do I need to set more pressure? And he said, I don't think you can set any more pressure. It's a pretty big fish. The last little film uh, in this short series of very amateur-like <laughs> not films uh, is uh, a hook that I use uh, to tie on a hook. It's a steering knot. If you use a clinch knot or a clinch kind of knot, your knot can slip in the eye of the fly and the fly will fish in the wrong angle. This knot means the leader is coming out from the center of the eye and the fly will fish correctly every time. Very simple little, little knot, but also very, very good to know. Many people use the clinch knot, even on a fly uh, that's tied on the hook, like this big one we got right here. Good and strong, but the thing is that it does not steer. Maybe first back cast, the hook might be there, having the fly fish the wrong way. Next time, maybe it slips down on that side, or it's going like this, or like this, or anything can happen. I don't like that. All hooks should be tied on with a steering knot. First thing I do, I will let the leader come in through the eye of the fly or the hook, like in this case. I then create the loop where the loose end is on top like this. I do two small loops around it, take away the big one, take the loose end and put it through the two small ones and pull slowly. This way you create this little eight. Then take the loose end and let the loose end slide in between the leader and the eye of the hook like this. The loop here now is what comes around the fly or the hook and I then pull it. If I have a very big fly, I do this instead to make it a little stronger. Instead of just let it slide down, I take this and I double it back before I pull it. You can now see how this knot is not tied in the eye of the fly, it's tied on the shank. That is what makes it steer the fly all the time. When I cut it, I cut it away right outside the eye like that. Very neat, simple and strong. On leader material, the same, maybe a little bit harder to see, but I let the line go in through the eye, create the big loop, do the two small loops around the big one, take away the big one, let the loose end come from above and through the two small ones and then pull and create that little eight. On a fairly small fly like this, I then just let the line go through the eye, take the loop and let it be around the shank, tighten, wet it and tighten hard. I then just cut it outside the eye. And you see, it can't slip. 
steer the fly in the perfect way all the time. Nice, I think. So this was the last little clip in me showing you my knots. And uh, basically I use these six knots and that's, that's all I need uh, in very special uh, conditions and very special occasions I use other knots. But these six knots have been with me many, many years in my fishing. I trust them. I know that if I tie them correctly, if I pull them slow, if I do it accurate, these knots will make me feel secure and make my tackle hold for even the biggest fish. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for following me on this.